one. Hi, I'm Ken from MyTajGarage.com and today I'd like to show you the cooling system of my Lamborghini Diablo Roadster kit car. Let's take a look. Here we have the ZZ4 crate motor in the back of a Fiero chassis and we have the cooling system starting at the top here with the Dead and Beer expansion tank. The purpose of the expansion tank is to be able to remove the air from the line which is the highest point of the car. So I'm really excited about being able to reduce any possibility of vapor locks. So it's currently sitting on a 160 degree thermostat to be able to keep the water cooler than normal. Let's take a look at as the coolant goes around the car through a fabricated cooling line that is the aluminized pipe from a custom made exhaust pipe. Here we have the water going into a Mazir remote water pump that was located because that was really the only place I could find to mount it here. And it works really good so I have a good access point there. At the rear of the car we have two four core radiators mounted directly to the fiberglass body. I fiberglassed in with Duraglass the mounting points so that it's not mounted to the chassis, it's actually mounted to the body so that we get a lot of good airflow going out the rear of the car. The fans that are positioned right here push the air out through the back of the car once the temperature of the water reaches a certain point. Here you can see the cool flex pipe that mounts the top of the radiator to the remote water pump. And there's a some flexibility in that cool flex pipe so that it, there isn't a possibility of any type of cracking or any tension between the chassis and the radiator. At the bottom of the radiator we have a connecting pipe because these radiators are hooked up in series where the hot water will come out and then join the radiator at the right hand side of the car. As the water comes into the second radiator it will go back into the engine block. On my website you'll be able to see what I've done here on the front of the engine where the typical either the power driven, pulley driven or electric water pump would set. I had to manufacture my own water connection so a lot of creative fabricating there with uh, water fittings and pipe fittings welded together to mount to the engine block. So uh, take a look at my website to see how that came together. I'm, I'm really excited to uh, see that is able to fit. So that's how my water system came together. I hope to be able to point to post the electrical schematic dry drawings on my website as soon as they get done to see how it was all wired and see how it works. So take a look at mytashgarage.com.